Well, obviously in the 80s, I, you know, I got called up to the big league when I was in Cincinnati, and I got to see uh, Pete Rose break the hit record. I was part of that team. Uh, he was our player manager, so I thought that was a big time of my career to see that. And then in the 90s, obviously getting traded to the Mets and coming home and playing for my home team that I, uh, I rooted for. 2000, obviously getting to the World Series, though, so those are – those are uh, very important to me in, uh, in each, each uh, you know, the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Well, I, I, I treated, you know, when I was setting up for, for the, the Reds before I became closer, and then when I was setting up for the Mets uh, later in my career, I treated every inning like it was my last inning I was going to be out there. So I gave it my all. Uh, I gave it to where I knew that I didn't have a, a – I was walking that tightrope. I didn't have a net under me. So I, I, I tried to treat every inning as if it was my last inning. Granted, when you're in the seventh and eighth inning and you're and you're you're setting up or you're or you're out there, you have that closer behind you. And when I was a closer, you didn't have nobody behind. It was just you. You're out there, whether it's good or bad, and uh, to finish the game. All I could do is just try to keep doing my job. I couldn't worry about if teams were worried about having that power guy out there. You know, uh, even in New York when I was there, you know, we had Armando Benitez was a power guy, so I couldn't worry about that. All I could worry about is John. John Franco doing his job, trying to do the best I can. You know, my early low 90s fastball and my changeup, uh, and try to get people out. Uh, when you start worrying about what management and, and uh, other people are thinking, that's when you start getting into trouble.